Hello everybody, this tutorial is to show a little bit more about how to export animations from biped or cat animations using retarget manager system like in this case we are using some another skeleton animation with the Mixamos skeleton so you can download this project that we got um, a model, a basic epic model with a cat bone system adapted with the same structure from the Apex one. It is not perfect, but it's very similar to the Apex skeleton position. So first, let's create a biped, okay? And uh, let's go to motion and in the lower corner we can motion capture import. Let's import an animation. Okay, so we can see already that the skeleton, it's, the animation was applied to it, right? And uh, now we are going to transfer the biped animation into the, the cat skeleton. Okay, just confirm that your skeleton has a hand with five fingers and three links for each one. If it's not like that, you must go to figure mode and uh, fix those settings on fingers and fingers links. Okay, okay close the figure mode and next step animation capture animation and now alt w for better view and uh, click on source object okay and select the the biped pelvis zagon okay and target you will select the the cat base the triangle on the base okay and then click auto map and you can see already that the cat it's kind of starting to fall on the values but we still have some issues on in the foot the foot it's kind of floating right if you click on the tri on the base triangle you can see the layer the mapping layer and before we capture the whole animation into k-frames uh, we will adjust the skeleton food so click on the biped skeleton any bone and start the figure mode again and you can see cat will adjust in the figure pose and select the both foot helpers and uh, Let's put in the, the zero position with the Y and the same with the ankles. Those we will rotate them to this original position because this is the ankle bone, not the foot one. So it was not supposed to be straight and it must be rotated. And now let's also increase the biped height because you can see the cat it's kind of the legs are banded so if we increase the height we can fix that and not let's not add stress the leg so let to be a little bit banded okay and after doing this click on figure mode and you can see that the cat it's it's, a, it's, a, it's better than before the, the foot is on the floor and the motion seems to be good so check the lead source on close okay and hit capture animation so now he will construct a cat layer with the keyframes that's it okay yes 
and if you click again on the triangle base you can see the layer and if you click any bone you can see that each keyframe for each frame so you can now export the animation the mesh and the animation I will do a, a future tutorial explaining further between cat layers animations uh, how to build animations inside another one like move the hands fingers and those kind of things but this tutorial will be a basic one at first so let's export for doing that uh, hit the play button the layer so you can see that the cat now it's on the the base pose so you can go on display panel and hit the helpers box so it will hide all the helpers you can see the triangle base it's no longer and also unfreeze it all because by default I put it the mesh uh, uh, freeze it so you cannot click so unfreeze it and select all and doing that you can export selected and name it as you wish and my case will be biped03 unselect the animation tab if it is selected we don't want the sport animations by now now we are going to sport animation so go back on the display hit helpers box go in motion hit the stop button so you can see the animation mode again go black on the display hit helpers select all export selected I will name it biped03 animation1 and now I will check the animation box and certify that bake animation and resample all are checked with all those below I'm sorry okay so hit OK on that message and now let's go to Unreal Engine 4 I will create a new folder just so we can separate files better and import the stand pose mesh and skeleton so click on mesh import skeleton as well and import there he is show bones you can see the, the bones and the mesh are imported successfully into engine now let's import the animation so biped03 animation I don't want the mesh because we imported already so unselect that and select the biped03 bone and now you can see the animation in the folder if you click it you can see it with our bones okay now next step let's transfer this animation to the to the epic default character so first of all we need to create a rig okay select the biped rig and right click create rig I will just unselect the rib cage bone because we don't need it the spine will do the job so unselect that please you can see this yellow asset and uh, let's save it let's save everything okay now let's go back to our skeleton and you will click retarget manager it will open this window and in the setup rig option we will select the rig we just created okay I have a lot of them because I did some tests but select the one you created you can see the list it's kind of filled up already it's because it's the same skeleton okay so save it and now open the epic skeleton that is the one that we want to share the information when you opened you will do the same thing click on retarget manager it will open that window in the setup rig options you will select the rig we created as well 
it must be the same otherwise you will not be able to share the, the animations okay and this time we will have to apply manually each bone to the the reference one okay doing that let's save and let's go back to the our our mesh folder and right click on the animation and on retarget animation asset we will click duplicate animation assets and retarget and you will see this window and also the hero TPP selection the skeleton sorry skeleton here this is because we share the same rig between the skeletons if you don't see this it's because you did not same this you did not share the same rig between the skeletons as we did if you click OK you can see in the right lower corner click open and there it is the animation it's now into the epic skeleton and also inside the the, the mesh folder so in the future I will make another tutorial a little bit more uh, explaining a little bit more cat layers and uh, anyway it's a great way to transfer animations between skeletons so that's it if you have any doubts please ask best wishes for all